Jumpstart friends, it's Miss Sophia, and today we are going to learn a little bit about parties and the food you make for parties. So last time we were together, we talked about Peter and how he made his very own invitation to Amy to invite her to his party. So he was so excited to write her the very his very own um, invitation. And friends, in order to get things ready for his party, he needed to do a, quite a few things. So one of the things, one of the preparations that people make for a party is they make special food to eat at the party. I know we have talked about quite a few parties, friends, and so I know in every single one, they made some special food. So in a letter to Amy, friends, Peter's mom made him a birthday cake. So she baked a birthday cake so that he could have a fun birthday cake at his birthday party. So Peter's mom made sure that she made a cake before the party so they could all enjoy it. And friends, in a birthday basket for Tia, Cecilia's mom made some beans and she made some fruit. Or she cut some fruit. She didn't make it. She cut some fruit. Maybe for a yummy fruit salad. So we can see her cutting up some fruit. And friends, the little red hen, when she was making her very own pizza, although it's not a party, she still needed to gather all of her ingredients. So here we have her gathering, oh, gathering all of her ingredients. And we know from the story that she had to go quite a few times to the supermarket to gather those ingredients, but she wound up being able to gather them. And then friends, she was able to cook the pizza. So I see that she has some of the ingredients sitting out right here. She's in her mixing bowl and she is making that pizza dough. But friends, you know what I didn't notice in any of our pictures? Friends, what did you notice? Is there something that you think maybe they should have had but they didn't have? Let's just put our thinking caps on and think for just a second. Hmm something that I didn't see and maybe you said this too friends they weren't following a cookbook or a recipe so friends when people make food often they follow recipes so that they can know what it is that they are making and they know all of the steps and that way they don't have to think too hard about it they can just follow the directions so friends I made my very own recipe and it is for one of my favorite meals spaghetti and meatballs i hope that you guys might have had um spaghetti and meatballs so that you guys know what i'm talking about so friends spaghetti and meatballs is what my recipe is so here friends i have the ingredients so the ingredients that i need ingredients are spaghetti noodles meatballs water and pasta sauce. So those are all of the things I need to be able to make my spaghetti and meatballs. And friends, I also have the tools listed. So I need a pot, I need a pan, I need a pair of tongs, I need a large spoon and a strainer. So friends, everything that you would need to start making your spaghetti and meatballs is going to be in the ingredients or under the tools. So then friends, for the steps, this breaks down everything that you do when you're making your, your uh, spaghetti and meatballs. So first you boil the water. So you'll put water in a pot and then boil it. And then once it's boiling, you put the noodles in the water and you cook until they are ready. So that might take seven to 10 minutes. It just depends on the spaghetti noodles that you have. Then friends, you cook the meatballs. Number three is cook meatballs. So you have to make sure that you cook them in the pan and make sure you get them all nice and cooked and ready so that you can add them in at the end. Then friends, you have to strain the pasta. So straining the pasta just means that you put the pasta into a container that, does, that has holes in it. So then you can get all of the water out without having to take out all of the noodles. So you just jump all of the water and the noodles into a, a, a bowl that has holes in it. And then the water goes out and the spaghetti noodles stay inside. Then friends, the fifth, 
step in our recipe is to combine the pasta, the sauce, and the meatballs. So you mix them all together, that way they can get all sauce, all uh, covered in sauce together. Then friends, the last one is to serve when sauce is heated, whoops, or is warmed. So once the sauce is also cooked and all completely ready, then friends, you're able to mix it all together and you can enjoy your spaghetti. So friends, that is my spaghetti recipe and it tells us all of the ingredients, it tells us all of the tools and tells us all of the steps that we'll need. Friends, that is just one recipe, but a cookbook is a book that has lots of recipes inside of it. So there'll be a lot of different recipes inside of that one cookbook that you can use and learn from. So friends, now you are going to learn a little bit more with Miss Nadi about recipes. Hello everyone. Okay, so for today's Let's Find Out About It, we're talking about recipes. Now, in a letter to Amy, at the very end of the book, we see this cake. See this cake with candles, pink frosting, and it's the cake that Peter's mother made. Now, Peter's mother probably followed a recipe. She probably got the recipe from a cookbook or a little card, and a recipe is just instructions and ingredients on how to make this cake or any other meal that you want to eat. We can also see that the little red hen from A Little Red Hen Makes a Pizza you see that she followed a recipe. She had her ingredients, which is her tomato sauce, her mozzarella cheese, her dough, everything else. We saw her directions when she was kneading and pulling and tossing the dough up. And she followed that recipe in order to make the pizza. So I have some other recipes that we can follow. The first recipe is a fruit salad. Now the ingredients, you can see the pictures of the different fruit. We see that the ingredients calls for one apple, one banana, two grapes, and one pear. The direction for the fruit salad is just to cut them up, put them in a bowl, and mix it. Now, the second recipe would be a vegetable soup. The vegetable soup is a little bit more complicated. The ingredients call for one green bell pepper, one onion, one tomato, four beans, and one corn cob. Now, just like the fruit salad, you chop them up and you mix them in a bowl, but for the vegetable soup, you gotta cook it. So that means you gotta put it over a fire or on a stove and let the heat cook it, make it soft and more soupy. And then the last recipe, yummy, my favorite, cookies. The ingredients for cookies show one cup of sugar, one cup of flour, one stick of butter, and the directions of the recipe would be to put it all in a bowl and mix it like all the other recipes, but instead put it in a pan. And you could see that the pan is similar to the pans that the little red hen had. Put it in the pan, you put it in the oven, and you bake and wait for a little bit. When you take it out, add your sprinkles, and then you eat it. Yummy. Now, I want you to think about your home and your recipes. Maybe your parents follow a recipe. Maybe you want to make your own recipe. Hi, Jumpstart friends. Again, you were just able to talk a little bit more with Miss Nadi about recipes. So friends, when we make our food, just like we did with the spaghetti and meatballs, we have to use pots and pans. So that is how we're able to cook our food. So friends, I remember the little red hen had quite a few pots and pans. So back here, we can see her pans. We can see that there is a cake pan, there's a muffin pan, and I can see some cupcake pan and even a bread pan, friends. So there's a couple different types of pans that the little red hen had in her uh, or in her house.
so friends, when we cook, we cook with a lot of different uh, tools to make our food. Some of the things that we use, maybe you've seen them before, are measuring cups. So I'm going to say measuring cups and then you're going to say it with me. So measuring cups. Let's try that one more time. Measuring cups. Yep, so these are measuring cups. You can see a few different ones. They come in all sorts of sizes. Next, friends, we have whisks or a whisk. So how about you uh, say it with me? Whisk. And one more time, whisk. Yep, so this is a whisk. You normally mix things with it. Friends, there's also things called tongs. And tongs I mentioned earlier when making spaghetti. You can use tongs. So we're going to say tongs together. Tongs. And one more time. Tongs. Yep, so tongs you use to pinch and grab things. And friends, the last one I'm going to talk about are mixing bowls. So let's say mixing bowls together. Mixing bowls. And one more time, mixing bowls. Yep, so mixing bowls are just what you put or what you put your food inside of when you are mixing, like this, like the name of them says, or you can just put things in there that you might need to keep there for then that you're just done working with for now, but you'll come back to later. So friends, when Peter's mom was making his birthday cake, she probably used quite a few of these tools to bake his cake. So I'm sure that she was able to use the whisk to mix it together, maybe the measuring cups, or maybe the mixing bowls too, friends. So friends, I had so much fun learning more about recipes and how food gets made with you, and I hope you had just as much fun as I did.